Hi, I'm Ben and welcome to Motivation to Invest. Our mission is to motivate you to invest for your financial freedom. Whether that means escaping the 9 to 5 drudgery or just improving your quality of life, I'm here to help you by providing you with valuable investing tips and strategies. Due to the recent global issue, which shall not be named, the economy has stalled and the stock market has taken major hammering. Is the world about to end? Or is this the greatest time to invest in some bargain stocks? If you believe like me that the economy will recover as it has done so many times before from previous recessions, then now could be a great time for you to start investing. GlaxoSmithKline is a pharmaceuticals giant. Based in the UK, it is part of the FTSE 100 index. GSK's share prices have plummeted recently due to the global stock market issue. So could this be a great opportunity to get your foot in the door on this defensive investment? GSK is ideal if you want some exposure to the pharmaceutical industry and also are a more risk adverse investor. As defensive shares such as food, drinks or pharmaceuticals are ideal to balance your portfolio. People always need these items, whether there is a recession or not. If anything, this recent global issue, which I won't mention here, should actually increase the demand for pharmaceutical products and the pharmaceutical industry in general, as people see the need to spend more on healthcare these days and the importance of it overall. GSK's business model is relatively simple in an industry which can be quite complicated and continuously innovating. As a science-led healthcare company, it researches and develops a range of innovative vaccines, pharmaceuticals and consumer healthcare products, which is commercialised in over 150 countries worldwide. For example, GSK developed the first ever malaria vaccine and has intellectual property on many medicines. GSK also pays a high and reliable dividend of 5%. GSK's share price has plummeted recently, and although a PE ratio of 18 is not as cheap as other riskier sectors such as travel, consistent revenue growth and profit growth over the past several years means this is a great company, and even a slight dip in price is a great opportunity to get your foot in the door. So it could now be the perfect time to add this pharmaceuticals giant to your portfolio. In this video, we're going to find out. I'm going to do a full stock analysis of GlaxoSmithKline and tell you whether I have purchased shares in the business. Let's dive in. Before we get started, go ahead smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to turn the notification bell on, that way you'll get notified when I release future videos and stock picks. It's good to be first on the scene when an interesting stock is at a great price. Central banks from around the world have unlocked trillions of dollars worth of funding to make sure the financial system stays liquid and doesn't collapse. So far, their measures seem to be working. GSK has a unique strategy compared to other pharmaceutical providers. GSK focuses on providing low price, high volume products in emerging markets. Whereas most pharmaceutical companies concentrate on providing high price, low volume products in places such as Europe and the USA. This new strategy brought with it a lot of criticism. Will their risk pay off? In an industry where cutting edge biotech startups get a lot of attention and many pharmaceutical companies are redesigning their R&D operations to catch up with new and even more complicated levels of innovation, GSK decided to keep things simple. GSK's chief executive Sir Andrew Whitty decided to swim against the tide. He defined his vision as a simpler, stronger and more balanced platform for future growth. A major pillar of this new business strategy was to adjust the three components of their operating model to align with their new grand vision. So what about the recent epidemic? In terms of battling the recent epidemic, 
GlaxoSmithKline has joined forces with French company Zandafi to try and develop a coronavirus vaccine. Now it's very risky to invest in a company purely based on the expectation that it will develop a vaccine for a well-known virus. You may be right and you'll make a lot of money, or you may be wrong and you'll lose all your money. To me, that is not investing, that is pure speculation. However, in the case of GSK, this is an established pharmaceuticals giant with multiple sources of revenue, so any vaccine that it did create or didn't create would just be a bonus. Literally, the cherry on top. As a little bonus they have already, GSK also produces a variety of coronavirus-related products, including vitamins, painkillers, and of course, testing kits. Diving into the GSK stock, we can see that it's trading at 41.1% below its fair value, which is incredible for a pharmaceuticals company, which is not really directly affected by this issue in a negative way. Earnings are forecast to grow at 7.52% per year and earnings grew by over 28% during the past year. GSK also pays a high and reliable dividend of 4.85%. Looking at the risks, we see that it has a high level of debt and large one-off items impacting the financial results. It also said there, there has been significant insider selling over the past three months. We will investigate these risks. Looking at the valuation, we can see that its share price versus the fair value, which this software calculates as approximately £28.31 pence a share, its price currently is £16.94. Um, now, I did purchase GSK, and I purchased it approximately £10 a share around here, £10, £12 pounds a share, approximately 50 60% undervalued. But it's still significantly below fair value, which gives you a great margin of safety. Now, it does say its PE ratio is high compared to the industry. So the industry average is 17.5. GSK is 17.6, so it's slightly higher than the industry average. PEG ratio is slightly high. Forecasted annual earnings growth, 7.4%. Future return on equity is forecast to be very high, 47.7% in three years. Financial position analysis. Now, this is a really important part to check up when valuating any business before investing into them. So what you need to look for is the amount of debt or liabilities that the company has. So as you can see here, the short-term liabilities is higher than the short-term debt, which is not a good sign. However, the long-term assets are higher than the long-term liabilities, which is a good sign. So this is your slight risk here with this company. However, looking at the market in general and the fact that it's a pharmaceutical company, which should benefit from this issue rather than be negatively affected by it, I'm not too worried about this high level of debt. This could even be to fund research into a vaccine for this global virus. Dividend, 4.72%. So you just got a stable and growing dividend over the past 10 years, which is a great sign. Experienced board of directors. Now, insider trading, this is another really important part to check up. So, what you want to be looking for is if a business, well, if the people in the, on the board of the business have got faith in the company, then really they should be buying shares in their own business if they've got faith that those will grow. However, looking here, we can see that, so a few people here, these have faith in the business. So these have purchased shares. We've had one major sell-off on the 20th of February. Now, that could be for some personal reason or it could be 
Philip Thompson knows something about the business in terms of how it's going to be formed and if the share price is going to plummet. And he was right, to be fair. After that sell-off, the share price did drop even further, but it's now risen back up again. But a few members of the board here, these people here, these purchased small amounts of shares. This could even be part of a retirement. It's hard to know without going into further detail. Overall, GSK is the ideal pharmaceuticals giant to balance your portfolio and give yourself some exposure to this defensive industry. With past earnings growth of 28%, a high and reliable dividend of 5%, and trading at 41% below its fair value, this could be a great opportunity to get your foot in the door of GSK. The low price offers a margin of safety, which should help to offset the risk brought upon by the short-term debt. I did purchase shares in GSK to give myself some exposure to the pharmaceuticals industry in general. Be sure to check out my other videos where I analyse five stocks I purchased during the previous stock market crash, which has seen me up by £1,000 in just seven days. Now, as a long-term investor, this increase doesn't really make a difference to me but it's still nice to watch your portfolio grow over such a short period of time. This suggests a possible V-shaped recovery from this recession. I also have a video reviewing the free trading apps, which make it really easy to get started investing. I've included a couple links below, which will give you a free share when you sign up. But remember, on this channel, we don't give financial advice. So please evaluate the stock yourself, research it yourself, Assess your own investing goals and your own budget before investing to any stock we mention on this channel. I would love to know your thoughts on GSK as a business and as a stock, so please do comment those below. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, smash that like button and definitely subscribe. See you next time.